Hey guys, it's Mary Kate, and um, it is currently snowing, so I'm waiting for my friend to pick me up. But I feel, instead of doing first month, I have to talk about this thing I keep seeing, and it's from BuzzFeed. And I know Kirsten on Lady Like did the video um, with it, like where she wore the band aids. <laughs> I still feel like I need to address this. I'm sorry, I'm watching notifications just go by. I'm just like, what are we talking about here? Um, and that was a car. But anyway, so on Monday, I think it was April 2nd, because the post did say last Monday, it was written, mon on, written Monday, on Monday the 9th, I want to say. So I don't know if they mean April 9th or April 2nd. But. It was about a 17 year old girl who decided not to wear a bra to school, which is fine. Go live your life. But at least you wore a loose shirt with it. See, this is where my big thing comes in. It's a loose shirt. And in the car. The school said it was not appropriate for her to wear it. Um, so they made her put band aids over her you know and made her put on another t-shirt and then jump up and down to see how it moved a that is not appropriate can get the school sued so that was b and c if anything else actually get the people fired and ex um like teacher license revoked so there's always that <laughs> side of things and yeah I just feel like it shouldn't have been done it should have been better managed like even at my high school I feel like things could have been better managed with this not with, like the whole bra thing but with like the whole dress code thing which that is another video in I believe August I'm filming with one of my friends but today I decided I would go ask two of my friends and maybe text a third her opinion on this so you won't be seeing Haley in this video but you might be hearing from her if I get a text back and you might be hearing from Melissa and Joanna we'll see about Joanna Melissa I'll do in the car when she comes and gets me but yes that is today's mission I am really shaking this video right now anyway I'll see you in a couple minutes once she is here question yeah did you see what happened with the girl who's 17 and the bra situation? Yes, I fucking saw that. I watched a YouTube video about it last night. <gasps> with the lady it. like? Yes. Oh, with the baby on the nipples. Did yes. You seen it. How do you feel about that? I'm fucking pissed. The fact that they even made her do a fucking bounce test. test. My theory is that is so inappropriate too. Like, yeah. they could get sued. They have, they literally did not, they stripped her of all form of humanity humiliated her and actually se sexually objectified her saying that That's her boobs technically belong to them because they can control what the fuck she fucking wears under her clothes. She's scratching her. What she fucking does. <laughs> uh, same. And especially with the way that uh, Kristen broke out. Oh, I know. I feel so bad for her. Like, oh my God. But at least they were like full blown hives with the yeah. itchiness too. Yeah but that oh God. Because even at the end of the video in the last couple minutes, she went to day two. Day and told that it was worse the second day. Yeah. And then, like, the girl's shirt wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was no. baggy. Yeah. Nobody would have noticed that she wasn't wearing a bra. And my other thing is, they also, like, that could be considered sexual harassment. Yeah. And she was wearing a dark shirt as well. So it's not like she was wearing a white see through top where it's like, oh. Hello nipples, you're right there. No, it's just it like was oh, dark, it was baggy and a her. dark heather gray Calvin Klein long sleeve t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That was baggy. Yeah. Uh, just wait till we're fucking teachers. I just know. Just wait. I said in the group chat, chat, group chat, not like ours, but with some of my other friends. Yeah. 
that like just to piss off my old principal I wear purple hair into the kindergarten classroom which I did at the beginning of the year and then later I did blue hair now I'm a little bit more back to my natural hair but it's all right my uh, sophomore year of high school I got in trouble for wearing a slight v-neck because it showed my collarbones and it was a very modest, I was flat chest at the time, so I was only a B cup, so it's not even like I had huge, massive, <laughs> awesome titties. <laughs> no, it was like, I was like, fairly flat. Yeah. And I got sent to the fucking principal's office for it, because I was showing collarbone, and it was too much. So I'm like, do you know what? Fuck and you. This. I started going to school in fishnets, high heels, halter tops, tank tops, tube tops. I went to school in a fishnet jacket and a bandeau, just neon fucking green my pants laced up on the sides i had ripped jeans and everything i also said this last night no matter what i wore up until my senior year i was wrong the only reason senior was different is because it was one of my friend's dad was the principal um, i'm like i will be in dress code and still get in trouble some days really yeah Why? i don't know i just said corrupt I still love Amanda's like I know it's so cute. Not all that wonder who are not all that wonder are lost. I want that so bad, the tire cover. <laughs> but this totally annoys me. I know, I don't fucking blame you. That was so uncalled for in class. Yeah, yeah, we're do, going to. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I told you about the girl who went to prom and she was wearing like a like a regular rectangular type of dress. Nothing So like what I normally wear. Yeah. And it was her prom dress. It was very opaque. It wasn't see-through, sheer at all. It covered her chest. Yeah. It had no sleeves, but it was like the lace top, but still like dark enough that you can't just see skin. Yeah. And cut off sleeves here. Very, very elegant. Very nice. And she got fucking kicked out of prom because the dad said it was just too sexual. Just remember, we're making a video on this too. Oh, okay. We had this discussion like a month ago that we're going to... Same about crap schools. And <laughs> oh god, we're gonna play change the clothes. Not clothes, but shoes. Oh, I got a new necklace in the mail, and I ordered myself a body harness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I am at work, so I have to be kind of quiet, but I got my response from Haley. She wrote something that it is illegal, and it is stupid that this even happened. And I just want to now share a personal experience that I had today. So I'm wearing a maxi dress, like this. And I took my jacket off for a second because I was hot. Whatever. And then I was like, it was just like, why did I do this? Like, why did I take it off? I shouldn't have because this guy's around. And they can't see my shoulder. I have a major problem with this. This is what schools are teaching girls. That they can't show anything. Even a harmless shoulder. And I just find this ridiculous. Like, nothing bad. I'm in a maxi dress. Eh? So everything's covered. And yet I'm scared to show my shoulder. This is where I draw the line, guys. This is where it ends for me. With this type of bullshit. But yes. Sorry, I'm getting a little passionate about this. But you'll probably see that in a different video in August. Anyway, love you. See ya. Bye.